Hmm? Does he have just one hand on the steering wheel? At the North American box mm -hmm. office this weekend, the remake of the popular 60s like TV series, stuff. The Man from UNCLE, right. debuted in third place, earning a disappointing $17.7 .7 million. What's next? There. Last week's number one film has slipped to second place. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation earned $22.3 million. I just got a snapshot of how Americans really feel. We gave the people a voice. We gave the people truth. Yeah, but your songs. They and in the number one spot is the NWA biopic Straight Outta Compton. It earned a whopping $73.5 million. Well, Jason Gorber is a critic with TwitchFilm.com. He's in Toronto. Jason, good to see you. Let's start with that hot biopic. Tell me what you thought of it. I got very complicated feelings about this film. <laughs> First of all, I think it's actually quite remarkable how well it's done. It's done superhero money, basically. Um, there's clearly a hunger for a telling of this story, a hunger for this period of uh, hip-hop history to be told on a grand scale. With shows like Empire, people are really getting into the sort of meat of the matter of this type of uh, urban music scene. Um, I think as a biopic, for me, it didn't really work because it doesn't really do it. It feels like it's checking boxes, like this happened, then this happened, and this happened. Plus, it's produced by two of the people, actually, that the film's about, uh, Dr. Dre and Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. And the weirdest thing is, when I saw it, the trailer for Ice Cube's next film that's coming out, I guess, is one of his ride-along, too, shows the sort of preposterousness that he's, he's all, you know, the whole notion of gangster rap sort of got co-opted and all the things. So there's very, very complicated things going on here. Look, this is the fundamental thing. I judge a film like this normally by how it works if you're not a fan of the film, uh, music versus being a fan of the music. I was an East Coast guy during this. I was a public enemy guy. <laughs> I, I, I preferred the stuff that Jeff Jam was doing versus the stuff that the West Coast guys did. What can I say? So for me, not of being a fan of the music, I didn't just love the film because I loved the music. I wanted more from the film. We we'll go back to a film called Rush uh, about Formula One. If you hate racing, you still love the movie. That was I a fabulous movie. Yeah, I love that sort of thing. That if you can tell a film for even fans of uh, people who aren't fans of the music and it really works then I know it's a really amazing film. For me, that film didn't reach that level. It just felt, especially for the last half, like it was just checking boxes. This happened, then this happened. So for me, I understand it's a great success, but it didn't completely work for me. Okay, well, let's switch gears now to the espionage, campy remake of The Man from UNCLE, that 60s uh, era TV show. What did you think of this one? I actually really liked it. I'm probably alone in it. It's another 60s sort of cheesy spy thing right along with Mission Impossible. It's a TV show most people don't even necessarily know. It has another beautiful Swedish woman in the lead. You have lots of things going for it. It feels like it should have had George Clooney or Matt Damon or something like that. The, the performances are good, but it, it for some people it doesn't come together. I just love this kind of nostalgia. I think it's a lot of fun, and people should give it a shot. All right, we have so many more to get to, but we don't have time. Jason Gerber, thank you so much for your time. Of course, you can always follow Jason at Twitter at FilmFest underscore CA. Have a great night. See you next week.